Today, on Hebrews Toy Reviews, we talk about the Batman Batcave. And as you can see, this thing is huge. Coming up right now. Hebrews Toy Reviews is not intended for children or anyone under the age of 17. Hebrews 77 here, and welcome to a brand new YouTube channel. This is Hebrews Toy Reviews. But this is the 1983 Junk Jetpack. Think of I just broke his crotch. What do you think about her? I was, I was, uh, I was playing tennis with, 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 uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Superman. <laughs> yeah. It's a game. This is the owner, Daniel. Daniel. Uh, ah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hebrews Toy Reviews. And today, we're going to be talking about the Batman Batcave. And this thing is, uh, it's really huge, but it's not... I could tell you right now, it's not going to get the good score that most of the toys on this channel get. Um, because there have been many other bat caves out there. And really, this one uh, seems less uh, superior to the rest. But we're going to talk about it anyway. So just sit back, relax, grab yourself some snacks. Because uh, this review... It's going to be a good one. This thing is huge. Well, at least the box is huge. And you can see many things on the box uh, from this Batman movie. And I have not seen this at Target uh, or any place like that. Not Walmart, not Target. I had to actually order this off of eBay. And it was about $40, I would say. And there's no telling how much it was. And Target, if it's forty dollars, the police car I know, which I happen to have right here, was about twenty bucks for the box set. So if that was twenty, this had to be about forty. So I don't know how they're making their money back off of this, but anyway, you can see many illustrations here. Um, there is, a, I guess, a trap door. On the stairs, we are going to look at everything that's in the box. <clears throat> and here's a scene from the movie. This is a movie still of what the actual uh, Batcave in that movie was like. But this is, this is, there's a lot to go over here. I mean, you have um, the Penguin. And I'm not sure why they keep using the Penguin as the main villain. I don't get it. The Riddler was the main villain. But for some reason, the Penguin toy is the most available one. <sighs> Doesn't make sense to me. Seems like they would have some of the, the Riddler action figures. I don't get it. But in this box, you could see... Um, what's his name? Patterson, whatever. His, his face. This is the uh, only Batman. I'm getting a lot of glare. In fact, you're seeing my uh, reflection. We're going to open the box here in just a minute. But there you see, Batman Batcave. And let's go ahead and look at the back of the box. This box is friggin' huge. So you see the Batcave. Okay. And you see the staircase. Now there's two problems. First of all, he's unmasked while he's down here in the Batcave. With this, the Penguin is here. Um... And this staircase, now I know they showed a picture of it, it was in the movie like this. But normally the staircase like this would be sort of like to Wayne Manor, where it would uh, lead to the living room. Like you would have the couch here and TV here and so forth. But in this case, it seems it's, it leads down into the Batcave like, there, like it was an old subway. I mean, seriously, you look at the this still in the box. There's a clock up there. Now, 
and a street lamp. Now, why is there a street lamp and a clock up there? If this is his cave that was under Wayne Manor, I don't understand that. But anyway, this uh, box set comes with a lot of stuff. It shows Robert Patterson with the bat mask off and the black eyeliner that's underneath, which all of the Batman has the black eyeliner underneath, but to me it just looks stupid. Um, him actually taking the mask off and still having it on, it just doesn't fit. You shouldn't... The eyeliner is supposed to be part of the mask. And when he takes it off, it's supposed to, like, not be there. You know. Um, but anyway. Let's get the contents out of the box and take a look at this really huge um, box set. I have a feeling a lot of this stuff's going to be cheap plastic, just like the car and all the, the other um, stuff that came from the Batman movie. But, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Here's what I wanted to share with you. This is going to be a little bit of a longer review, I guess. But you have all of these pieces in the box, like you have the staircase. And you can see the Robert Patterson Batman a little better. The black eyeliner. There's a penguin figure. Now, I already have a, another penguin figure that I did a review on. And uh, But this is kind of cool here. you got the stack of money and stuff and uh but yeah i've opened the box very carefully and now we're going to take the contents out of the box okay here we go we got everything out of the box now i got the box or the backdrop for the box there for displaying purposes now this briefcase which you're supposed to put the stack of money in um when it is closed like that, it's very difficult to get in the hands of the penguin. Um, so I just put the umbrella there. But here, this briefcase. See, there's a stack of money in there. That looks very good when it's in the briefcase, of course. As you know, the, it's just a block with painting on there or a sticker, I guess. So that's out of the briefcase. This back computer. Now... I don't know if I mentioned this while it was still in the box. I probably already did. But this back computer, the really cool thing about this screen is that it's a neutral screen. There's no stickers of faces on here. Like, for example, with the original Batcave uh, from the 90s, like, there was a sticker of Two-Face on the monitor. And uh, there was... a another one had a sticker of the Joker and just stuff like that and you know if you're doing a stop motion movie this is really the way to go here and I just knocked over the bat cycle so here you have sort of like the the turntable which doesn't even really turn but um, you can always you know turn it and then you have Batman in this case, Robert Patterson with those dumb eyeliner. I don't know why they included that crap into the movie. But here is the gimmick part of the staircase. As you can see, the penguins there at the top of the staircase. And, uh, let's see. Is there a button? See, I haven't tried this yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got to get the computer out of the way. So I guess you just push down. Just push down. The penguin. Crap! Oh, crap, boys! Oh, he just falls right through. It'd be nice if it was like the trap door of Grayskull. Does this one open? Or wait a second. Hold on. Does this, like... Oh, they both open. That's weird, though. There's no button or spring or anything you push. You just kind of push it down that's that's not fun but anyway yeah that's basically what you have here and I put all of the uh, stuff here here let's put this back in here I put all the stuff here you can see the mask goes on that and then you have the body armor and 
his gloves, which do not come off, his gaunt gauntlets, they don't come off. And it didn't come with extra gauntlets. So I don't know what the purpose of these are. But here, we'll just put the, the batarangs there. And the uh, grappling gun. And the cool, and then we have an umbrella here. Now this umbrella doesn't really do anything. However, yeah, it comes out of the the handle comes out of the uh, umbrella thing, and I guess you could use pretend like that's a sword or whatnot have you. So there you go. There you have you know, the penguin villain, which I have there. Robert Patterson's Batman. Of course, you can put the mask and everything on him. And all, you know, this this uh, staircase was the main reason why I got this toy to begin with. So, let's, let's see where we rate the staircase. Well, I really wish the gimmick, the trap door, had been spring-loaded somehow. Like, you know, all the other... Uh, spring-loaded trap doors like Castle Grayskull's trap door, uh, Snake Mountain's trap door had a little gimmick underneath which made it drop. Um, oh, and this railing comes down. Wait, hold on a second. Is let's see. Maybe I'm not doing this right, or maybe this railing comes down and then it trips the. Uh, Okay, but I don't want to put any pressure on it or force it. But it looks like it definitely does come down somehow. But I'm afraid to, to even... I feel like I'm going to break the damn thing. Just figured this out. It's kind of dumb. So you literally have to just pull it out of there. It comes out. It doesn't fold down or anything like that. It just pops out of it, the thing. So, yeah, if, if I was a little kid and saw in the box that it, it bent down, I, I would have figured a button or maybe it leaned over. Because if you look at the box art, I'm bringing the box back into it, you can clearly see it just like folded down right there. Like, why didn't they have instructions to this stupid thing? There are no instructions in the box. Overall, I mean, a lot of the parts are cheap plastic, which I already knew that going into this. But I do like the staircase. I will be using this in my stop motion um, movies. Probably won't be using the gimmick since gimmick kind of sucks. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the review. It's been a long review as it is. So. Um, I'm in this bat cave. Not really. I mean, if you want to get the staircase, just get the staircase. The rest of the cave is kind of stupid. I do like the computer screen. That's a really good gimmick. Um, this block of money. I don't know if they're going to sell stuff like this with just the action figures, but that's a pretty good little deal, too. I don't know. I feel like you could probably get that with Legos or something. But anyway... That is my review for The Batman Batcave. And, um, didn't have this cool ass staircase to it. Personally, I would have given it a pass. So that does it for this review. And as you can see, the staircase serves many purposes. And I tend to will be using them and uh, some of my stop motion movies over on the other channel. And we will have another Batman review, as I do have the Superpowers Batman, but that's for another Bat time on another Bat channel. No, wait. Same Bat channel. But just remember, knowing isn't just half the battle, it's the whole damn war. See you next time. Doo -doo -doo -doo.